Hi again, um, thanks for joining me on this one and today's one I'm going to just be talking about a couple of quick tooltips um, in addition to some of the other ones I've mentioned and they are face mode. Face mode is not really a, a tooltip as much, much as it is a, a, a correctness checker for normals but it is a good one to know about. Um, and then F2, the F2 add-on which most of you would know about by now and then the, um, the quick menu, Q for quick menu. Um, um, it's an incredible, incredibly useful um, shortcut. So when you're looking at something like this, um, this is something I modeled for the Setter Builder 3D, the Hong Kong pack, small, um, small number four, if I if I recall correctly. And this looks complete. It really does. Um, but when you go into the overlay menu up here and you switch on face mode, you'll see red and blue. Now, what that means is red shows you the orientation of normals that are facing the wrong way, and blue shows you normals that are facing in the correct way. Now, you should never have red and blue on the same face facing the same way. Um, so obviously, then you can come in and select the normals that you would want to flip um, and just shift in those normals to flip them you can even just select them um, and use this manually if you don't want to use shift in but shift in is the shortcut for that and then go around your model um, work your way, way around it and make sure that all the normals are facing in the same way um, and blue is facing out so that is in the overlay menu face orientation obviously when you're done switch it off that's tool tip number one next useful function is the quick menus um, so this is a really great one it saves a lot of time you access the quick menu by hitting Q and that'll give you a list of things that you have saved to the quick menu so these are quick action quick access contextual functions that you specifically save for quick access so if i go to any of these functions um, and hit them by right clicking on them i i get a function that says add to quick menu so if i use set to origin 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 to geometry often then it would be good for me to right click on it add it to quick favorites and then whenever i work i don't have to navigate here there and then there i can simply hit q and hit the function that i added to the quick menu it is contextual so it'll look different here than what it looks like in sub object and it'll look different in sub object to the shader editor and you can use it across any of those views case in point i use tiles to model stuff like this um, and if uh, typically i put my pivot point down there so what makes sense for me is to just have that function um, ready at hand so for me to now hit q origin to 3d cursor then that instantly moves my um, origin point to where the 3d cursor is and it's a great way to access something that i regularly do next one um, this is useful for 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 buildings um sorry for the fumble there um and it's an edit preferences thing so you go edit preferences um and then make sure that your f2 um, add-on is activated if it isn't then activate it and navigate down save preferences what that does is it gives you a really intuitive way to cap and fill meshes um, you can then just select an edge hit f and it'll intuitively fill down that path so i hit f there f again f again f again and it just keeps filling that path along the way it's a really great tool um, to to use or add on to activate stay tuned for the next video it should auto play also if you like this hit the like and subscribe button